Right, I'm not even joking, right? I thought it was just like a a meme that he was like Alan Partridge. Mm. But there's a video of someone on Facebook, I'll try and find on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Who, and it's like, you will never, if it was Alan Partridge saying this stuff, you wouldn't think it was any different. You'd think it was Steve <laughs> Coogan writing these lines. Yeah. He is, I mean, if Richard Madeley was popular when Alan Partridge the f first was popular, I think yeah, it'd be based on him. Alan, it, I'm Alan Partridge as though, or, yeah. Yeah. It's so unbelievable, the likeness. It's, I was crying with laughter watching it. It was <laughs> just like, it is literally just like, it's like, he must have embraced the meme and just do it on purpose now, because this is ridiculous, this shit now. Yeah, I don't know if it was like this way back when, or if he's already, or... <laughs> this is just absurd, right? When you watch this, you've got to think, you've got to pretend it's Alan, and it's an Alan yeah, voice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like Alan Partridge on Good Morning Britain, or whatever this is. Yeah, right. Ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, go. It's gone six o'clock. Look who's here. Hello. TV Hello. legend yeah. Richard Maidley. You see, I fluffed my first link. Um, and here is Alex with the first link today's work. Hello, good morning. My daughter you okay? fancies you, by the way. You look at this and you think, ah, oh, pretty, pretty. Lovely golden sound. That's safe. Yeah. Uh uh, not in certain parts of the country. Quick sound. In a restaurant? It's just the mannerisms exactly the same. Judy about anorexia and eating disorders. I'll say this, I probably would have clocked it. And then Judy got pregnant very quickly again. It's an accident. Sorry, Chloe, but it's you were, and you know it. And you know it. The very first time I appeared on live television was on this morning. It happened to be modelling raincoats. Yes. So when she mentioned it. All right, then let's move on. Here's Lucy with her first look at today's weather. And this morning, she's up on the ITV roof. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a part three that just recommended to me. It even sounds like part which is unbelievable. Did, did, did that come Quick up for sand. you? Quicksand! Huh? Did that come up for you, Richard Magley, as Alan, Alan Partridge part three, the long awaited travel edition? Uh. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm zeroed on that. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Right, that, it was a sound. The sand thing, because I, I there's a specific like, there's a specific sketch that I I can think of in my head where he did something like not not sandpaper obviously but something similar. Yeah, it's like, mm, pretty beach here, yeah. nice day out, not so part of the country. Quick sand. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was talking to her in a restaurant. Three, two, one, go. Planning a big family holiday uh, with all your family going to Disney. No. So here's my guide to getting the best out of this magical place. <laughs> I do vividly remember the time I was with Judy. I'd gone out by myself for a while and we were due to meet in a restaurant for lunch. Could I find it? Nope. She was furious. And it was in this bar nearly 70 years ago that they actually invented the Bellini. I haven't packed a suitcase on, a, on an aeroplane <laughs> for at least 25 years. Flying of Bellini. One of extra pair of socks. I don't wear underwear, so no underwear, that's fine. But be careful. Some shops charge top whack for gelato that is far from authentic. How does it work? The ice cream comes to pile really, really hard. Flying <laughs> aids. Do you have all the sausage break, please? San Marco Campanile. Triangular della Bermuda. La Boutique del Gelato. Grazie. Perfect. 30% of, of, of blokes don't wear underwear. You know, it's, it's not mad. If you shower every day, you don't need to wear underwear. Nowadays, the only thing to sigh about is the amount of time it'll take you to queue up to get a look inside. Hefty price tags. Prices are sky high. Prices reflect their popularity. So if you don't mind sharing, you can split the cost six ways. It's simple, it's elegant, it's understated, but it's ineffably classy, just like this place. So there you have it. It does sound like him as well. Yeah. The fake gelato bit was pure partridge. Even, like, top whack for gelato. He even, he even had the gloves and the coat that, like, <laughs> I 
I, I know I've seen <laughs> Alan Partridge <laughs> wear those two things, not at the same time, but separately. You know what that drink was at the end? What? A lady boy. Oh, get out. 